What is Vasakhi? Why are we celebrating Vasakhi? Is Vasakhi a historic event for you? Are we celebrating the birth of an army? The birth of the Khalsa? As long as Vasakhi is something that happened in the past, we run the danger of making Vasakhi and the Khalsa a historic relic. Why do I want to do this part? Why do I want to do this old ancient stuff? Why do I need to keep my hair? Don't look at the Khalsa and say, oh no, do I have to do all this stuff? That's why people are afraid of taking Amrit. That's why Vasakhi is coming and maybe some people will be afraid to take Amrit. I don't want them to look at the Khalsa and then they look at the rest of the world and they say this Khalsa is out of date. The Khalsa is a tradition not only that is relevant for today, it is a tradition that's relevant for all mankind. So because we've not understood the Khalsa is genuinely for the whole world, we've forgotten to teach the message of the Guru to the whole world. But there's only one way that you can teach the message of the Guru. First, you have to learn it yourself. What was so amazing about the message that it was worth dying for? What we're celebrating with Vasakhi is not a historic event. What we're celebrating is a Guru that has the ability to transform ordinary human beings into superhuman beings. The Khalsa represents the transformation of human beings from sparrows to hawks. From slaves, we became kings. You're not a human being anymore. You're a devta. And what is the role of a superhero? To save the world. And the whole of the world is miserable, nanakatukhiya, substance, but not the Khalsa. This is the Khalsa. We are not to be afraid of anyone, nor are we to instill fear in anyone, nor should we apo be apologetic for the greatness that the Guru has bestowed upon us. We have to recognize that the Guru came here to save us. And when the Guru saves us, we can help save other people. Look at the Khalsa as the perfect human being and say, do I want to be that kind of perfect human being? That's a question you have to ask yourself. Change your understanding. Don't just be proud of being a Sikh. Have the wisdom of the Guru. Then, maybe, you might be ready to say one day, I'm ready to be a Khalsa.